Ukraine's negotiations with its allies continue. The promises made by the German president shocked everyone. The Russia-Ukraine war, one of the most talked about events of recent years, continued to come up with different issues. At this point, it was known that Russia had attempted many actual invasions for months, while it was known that Ukraine had also begun a counteroffensive in September. At this point, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has now begun negotiations with his allies so that the country's territory can be freed from the occupation and rebuilt. That is why German President Steinmeier visited the territory of Ukraine. Steinmeier, who said that they value Ukraine's territorial freedom, also promised for new ammunition supports. Here are all the curious details of the meeting between Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and German President Steinmeier. German President Steinmeier and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky held a joint press conference. Volodymyr Zelensky, who has been trying to strengthen his communication with his allies in recent days in order to increase the liberation movements on his territory, shares a busy agenda, especially with the authorities of Western European countries. At this point, Volodymyr Zelensky, who is known to be in constant communication with German President Steinmeier, had invited the German leader to the country. At this point, Steinmeier, who stated that the territory of Ukraine will definitely be liberated by conducting inspections in some regions of the country, held a joint press conference with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Steinmeier, who said that financial and military support will now be sent from Germany, announced that Ukrainian soldiers will be better equipped against the Russian army. Now millions of people have begun to look forward to when Germany will deliver new supplements. Germany will soon provide important weapons reinforcements for the Ukrainian army. New equipments on the road. German President Steinmeier, who recently paid a visit to the territory of Ukraine, stressed that the territory of Ukraine must be liberated, while the assistance provided will continue in a military and material sense, and added. Ukraine's President, Volodymyr Zelensky Steinmeier, performs a joint press conference with Germany's two Mars, two multi-barrel rocket system, 200 Panzerhobbits by the territory of Ukraine, and four self-propelled howitzers will be sent, said. At this point, new aid will also come, Steinmeier said, adding that they will definitely support Ukraine against Russia. German President Steinmeier said, Today I promised Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky for new ammunition. One of the most anticipated meetings of recent days was held, and German President Steinmeier and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met. Speaking about the future of Ukraine, the two held a joint press conference and called for continued resistance to Russia. German President Steinmeier, who made important statements during the press conference, said, Today we talked with Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky about military supplies that are planned to be delivered in the near future. I promised him that two Mars systems, as well as four Panzer Hobbits 200s, would be transferred to Ukraine in the next few days. The friendship of the two countries will continue until the end, he made his statements. German President Steinmeier again recalled the military systems sent to Ukraine. One of the countries with which the Ukrainian state has made the most agreements in recent days was also known as Germany. At this point, German President Steinmeier, who visited the territory of Ukraine and stated that they will provide all kinds of support for the comfort of the Ukrainian people, said that new munitions will also depart in a very short time. In addition, Steinmeier, who explained that Germany constantly supports Ukraine, said that modern IRIS, T air defense systems have also recently been delivered to the Ukrainian army. For this reason, Steinmeier explained that Ukraine will never be left alone on the issue of ammunition and reminded of the support made in the past. When did the German president visit the territory of Ukraine? What was the purpose of the visit? People who are now significantly following the Ukrainian-Russian war were wondering when and for what purpose the Ukrainian territory was visited by the German president. At this point, the question was answered and everyone breathed a sigh of relief. German President Steinmeier visited the territory of Ukraine on October 25th and held a joint press conference with Volodymyr Zelensky after conducting inspections in certain regions. Among the purposes of the visit of the German leader, it was decried that the support to Ukraine should be increased, and it was also said that new deliveries would be made. 
millions of people are now eagerly waiting to see if the German leader will keep his word. European countries congratulated the German president. Messages have come from many countries. In recent days, it is known that the aid provided by Germany to Ukraine has been talked about a lot all over the world, while the visit of German President Steinmeier to the country was also considered one of the most important issues. At this point, it was not delayed to respond to the German politician from European states. While many European countries expressed their gratitude for Germany's support to Ukraine, it was stated that the visit of the German leader was very meaningful and the relevant munitions should be sent to the country as soon as possible. For this reason, many country leaders sent a congratulatory letter to German President Steinmeier upon his sending. German President Steinmeier stated that Ukrainian cities will be rebuilt. German President Steinmeier, who has now managed to receive applause from many people for his visit to the territory of Ukraine, held a joint press conference with Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky and drew congratulations on it. During the meeting, Steinmeier announced that new munitions will be sent to the territory of Ukraine in a short time, and Ukraine will be supported in all circumstances. Steinmeier also mentioned that the bombings in Ukrainian cities are very painful and that the country will definitely be restored after liberation from the occupation and the destroyed cities will be rebuilt again. Moreover, the German leader also conveyed that they are ready to provide any assistance so that Ukraine can heal its wounds as soon as possible. German President Steinmeier stated that Ukraine will be completely liberated in a short time. German President Steinmeier, who managed to make a big noise with his statements after visiting the territory of Ukraine, stated that they were on the side of Ukraine at every opportunity and demanded that the Russian army necessarily withdraw from the territory. Steinmeier, whose voice sounded much louder at a joint press conference with Volodymyr Zelensky the other day, said that what is absolutely necessary will be done. German President Steinmeier, who spoke very harshly about Russia, reminded that physical interventions may come if the army does not leave Ukrainian territory and announced that he also has plans to counter the nuclear threat. In addition, German President Steinmeier expressed his full belief that Ukraine will soon be liberated along with all its territories. German President Steinmeier created a scene on social media with his statements. The Russian-Ukrainian war, one of the most talked about topics of recent days, continued to be presented as headline news in local and global press centers. At this point, German President Steinmeier, who made statements the other day, also managed to be on the agenda on social media. Many people congratulated the German government for their support for Ukraine. In addition, some social media users, Ukraine by Germany and Ukraine in terms of armament of the armed struggle he expressed that should be reinforced by some never should lay down arms when he argued that the two countries should be stopped and a degree is essential to maintaining expressed. At this point, the latest steps from both countries have been eagerly awaited.